Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to be going over finding the uh, production order quantity which is also known as the economic production order quantity. Uh, remember that the POQ is different than our economic order quantity or the EOQ because it assumes that we are producing the inventory uh, at the factory and therefore we will have to account for the inventory holding cost as we produce. Um, so given this, we have some uh, variables that have been given to us in this problem. We are told to find the POQ. The data that we are given is that the forecast for the year will be 72,000 units. We know that the units are used every single day. Uh, the production rate equals two weeks uh, of usage. The order cost will be $250 per order. The factory works 240 days per year. The carrying cost is 25% and the unit cost is $80. Knowing all of that, uh, we need to transform some of this information into the variables that we will use. The first thing, however, is to identify which equation we're using. Uh, we are using a production order quantity instead of the EOQ, so we'll be using the POQ equation. Uh, the POQ equation is defined as a square root of two times the yearly demand times the ordering cost per order divided by uh, the holding cost per unit per year times one minus the daily demand which is lowercase d divided by the production rate which is p. Now that we know the equation that we're using, we need to identify the variables that were given in the problem and correlate those with the variables that are in the equation. We'll first look at D. D is defined as the yearly demand. We know that the forecast for the year is 72,000 units, which is the same as the demand for the year. So we know that our uppercase D must be equal to 72,000 units. We also know that uppercase S is defined as the ordering cost per unit. We are given that the ordering cost is $250. So S, therefore, must be equal to $250. Now, I believe I just said that S was ordering cost per unit. Um, that was misspoken on my part. S is the order cost per order. Remember, um, that is for every order that we place. We then need H. H is defined as the holding cost per unit per year. We do not have H explicitly, but we can find it based on what's given in the problem. We know that H is defined as K, which is the holding cost rate, times the unit cost. We know that the carrying cost from what was given is 25% of the unit cost. We also know that the unit cost is $80. If we calculate that, we find that the holding cost is equal to $20 per unit per year. Our next uh, variable we need to find is lowercase d, which is daily demand. We know that daily demand is worth one days of demand. We, we do know uh, how many days the, the factory works per year, and we know the yearly demand. Given that, we can do a quick calculation to find lowercase d. All that we do is take the yearly demand, which we've already identified, which is 72,000 units, and we divide that by how many days the factory works per year, which we know is 240 days. Given this, doing a quick division, we find that the lowercase d is equal to 300 units per day. That is our daily demand. The last variable we need to find is lowercase p, which is our production rate. Remember that in the problem we are told that the production rate equals two weeks worth of usage. We still know what our yearly demand is, which is 72,000 units. We also know that we work 240 days per year. So if we take 240 days and divide that by five days, 
we know that the factory is working 48 weeks that year. If we divide 72,000 units divided by 48, this will give us our units per week. This is equal to 1,500. Now, be careful, this is not our final answer for P, because this is for one week's worth of production. We are being told that our production rate is two weeks worth of usage. So we need to double this amount. So our P becomes 1,500 units per week, and we need to multiply that by two weeks. Canceling the weeks, we find that P is equal to 3,000 units. Now that we've identified all of our variables, we can rearrange this into our equation. We know that uh, from above, P O Q is equal to the square root of two times the day or the yearly demand, which is seventy-two thousand times S, the ordering cost, which is then divided by H, which we found to be twenty dollars, times one minus the daily demand, which is three hundred, divided by the production uh, quantity, which is three thousand. And that is our equation. Now if we quickly solve this, we find that our production order quantity will be equal to 1,000 415 units. Now if you actually do this on the calculator you will get the answer of 1414.2 units but it is not possible for us to have half of a unit or even well, uh, two tenths of a unit so we cannot use that answer we must uh, round up so that we have a whole unit. And so uh, that is the, all there is to this problem, uh, this example of POQ. Remember, the most important thing is you need to pay attention to the production rate, and you do not uh, want to, uh, for example, if you calculated the production rate for one week and use that number, that would not be correct. If we used 1,500 uh, in here, that, that would not be correct because that's only for one week of usage. Uh, and also, uh, for the holding cost, we, we need to remember that the holding cost is not 0.25, that is, that's just the carrying cost rate. We still have to multiply that by the unit cost to get uh, the holding cost per unit per year. Thank you.